Hello friends, this video sets part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched sets part 1 to part 5. A set A is said to be subset of set B if every element of A is also in element of B. They confuse you? A set A is said to be subset of set B if every element of A is also in element of B. Let's take my example. Set A is equal to you say students in your class. Students in. Let's take a B as a bigger set. B is a bigger set. Is equal to students in your school. So here I say A is a subset of B because every student who is there in your class is also there in your school. Correct? Because if your friend is in your class, that means your friend is also in your school. But the reverse is not true. Every student who is your with the student of the school may not be in your class. So this is a relation wherein we create a small set of object from a bigger set. So here the bigger set is all the students in a school. So from that we took out a smaller set that is all the students in a class. So in such case a relationship exists between A and B. That is all the students or all the members who are in set A are also in set B. Such kind of relationship is denoted by subset. So here A is subset of B. That's what you've written here. Every element of A is also in B. Every student who is member of the class is also member of the school. And that's why A is subset of B. To write this A is subset of B, we use the mathematical symbol A subset B. When you say A subset B, that means all the elements that are there in A are also in B. B is a bigger set, A is a smaller set. So we can say A is a subset of B. So we have written A is small and B is big. So subset A is subset of B, that means all the elements which are there in A are also there in B. For example, A is the set of students in the class and B is the set of students in the school. So all the students who are in your class are also in your school. B is a bigger set, A is a smaller set. So we say A is a subset of B. Here we'll note that every set is a subset of itself. For example, when we say we, we took take two sets, set A. Set 1, A1 is equal to all the members of your class, students of a class, and set 2 also is equal to all the members of a class. And both are equal, equal actually. So in that case, A is subset of A. Because all the elements who are in A1 are also in A2. So since they are equal, we are saying A is subset of itself. It's a rule which is used. You just understand this, that every set is a subset of itself. Similarly, there is one more rule that if the element is not having any element, then that element is subset of every set. It's pretty clear. For example, we say that there is a class 15. There is no class like 15 in the school, but there is a class called 15 and the number of students are 0. So that will also be a subset of your school because that is not having any element. Just remember this that phi is a subset of every set and a is a subset of a for any set. These two things are since this is not having any element, phi is not having any element. So we say phi is the subset of every set. Now come the concept of superset. So in the previous example we have seen that A is the set of all students in the class and B is the set of all students in the school. So here B is the superset. The bigger one is called the superset. Here B is called superset and A is called subset. Remember this where A is not equal to B. Obviously when we say A is 
the subset of A, then in, in this case it won't apply. So here superset should contain some extra element. A should not be equal to B. So in that case, when we say this line, we can also read as A subset of B, or we can say B is superset of A. So both are true. You say A is subset of B or you say B is superset of A. Both are true. Let me go through the concept once again because it's a, it's a crucial concept. Subset and superset. If you have two sets, set A and B and all the elements in set A, for example students in the school are also member of set B, for example students in the school, then we say A is the subset of B. Since B is a bigger set, so we say B is a superset of A. A is subset of B or B is superset of A. Both are correct in this scenario. Let's take some examples of subset. So here Q is a set of all rational number. Then we say, then we say Q is a subset of R because we know that any number which is a rational number should be a real number. So see, if you say, if you break the real number, real number is nothing but rational number plus irrational number. Correct? So any number which is rational will also be a real number. But any number which is real may not be a rational number. It can be rational or irrational. But any number which is the rational number will have to be a real number. So we say Q is the subset of R where Q is a rational number set is a subset of real number set because real number set is a bigger set. Similarly, let's take one example where A has element 135 and B is odd natural number less than 6. So we'll say B is also 135. Right? So here you see A is subset of B because all the elements which are there in A is also there in B. Correct? Because A has 135, B also has 135. Similarly, B is also subset of A because all the elements which are there in B are also in A. So in, in such case where A is the subset of B and B is also subset of A, then we say A is equal to B. We'll use this formula. Please remember, when we say A is subset of B and B is subset of A, both are true simultaneously, then we say A is equal to B. Let's take one more example. A is the set which has element A, E, I, U, U and B is the set which has A, B, C, D. So if you see a light here, A is equal to A, E, I, O, U enclosed in curly braces because we are forming a roster form and B is A, B, C, D. Now we see there are some elements of A which are not in a B. For example, I, E. So A is not subset of B. Also we see there are some elements which are there in B but not in A. For example, C. So B is also not subset of A. So we have taken an example where A is subset of B and A is not subset of B. Let's take one more example. A is having 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in this case you see all the elements which are there in A are also there in B. 1, 2, 3, 4. These elements 1, 2, 3, 4 are also there in B. Plus B has some extra element. Right? So we say A is a superset of A is subset of B and B is superset of A. Why we are saying B is superset of A? Because B is having these extra elements. Had we had B only having 1, 2, 3, 4, then we could have said A is subset of B, but we could not have told that B is superset of A. To say B is superset of A, B should not be equal to A and B should have some extra element. So in this case, B is not equal to A because B is having 6 element and A is having 4 element and B is also having 2 extra element that is 5 and 6. So we are saying that B is superset of A. Let's take one more example. This is a common relationship which we have seen. All the natural number is a subset of all the integers. 
and all the integers is subset of all rational number and all rational number is a subset of all real number we'll prove how natural number is 1 2 3 4 5 integer is minus 5 minus 6 minus 4 all these numbers so these numbers are also the natural number also the integers so we say natural number is a subset of integer here you see natural number has some extra the integers has some extra element the natural number so we'll say that it is a superset of natural number integer is a superset of natural number similarly for rational number we say 1.2 1.3 minus 1.2 minus 1.3 so these are some more extra element then we have in this set so we'll say rational number is also a superset of integer or integer is a subset of rational number similarly for real number real number can also have irrational number for example pi root 2 so we'll say real number is a bigger set so real number is again a superset so we say like this natural number is a subset of integer and integer is a subset of rational number and rational number is a subset of real number since real number is greater than rational number we can also say a real number is superset of rational number and rational number is superset of integer and integer is a superset of natural number please note this is very crucial you should know this concept to solve questions in mathematics that natural number is a subset of integer integer is a subset of rational number and rational number is a subset of real number also real number is superset of rational number and rational number is superset of integer and integer is superset of natural number because this contains extra element i hope examples of subset is clear now we'll say we'll find if a subset relationship exists so first we'll try to find a relationship between phi and a so as we have seen that phi is a subset of any set so we can say phi is a subset of a also we can say phi is a subset of b also we can say phi is a subset of c so this relation is valid because phi is a subset of any set the second case when we pick a and try to find relation between a and b we see that a has 1 and 2 and b has 1 5 8 so all the elements which are a are not part of b for example 2 here doesn't belong to b also 5 and 8 are not part of 2 so a is not subset of b also b is also not subset of a now when i try to find relation between a and c we see that a has 1 2 and c has 1 2 5 6 8 so all the elements which are part of a that is 1 and 2 are part of c so we can say that a is a subset of c and also since c has more elements than a so we can say that c is a superset of a now let's try to find relation between b and c so b has 1 5 8 c has 1 2 5 6 8 so all the elements of b that is 1 5 8 are also present in c so we can say that b is a subset of c plus we observe that c has some extra element 2 6 8 that are not there in b so we can also say that c is a superset of b let's do one thing once again phi phi is a subset of all the sets so we'll say phi is a subset of a b and c when we are talking about relation between a and b we observe that there is a and b are not subset of each other but when you say a and c we observe that a is the subset of c because 1 and 2 are also in C and C has some extra element so C is a superset of A. Similarly when we are trying to find a relation between B and C we found that B is a subset of C and C is a superset of B because C has some extra element 2 and 5 plus all the elements which are there in B. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.